Hey guys, Joshua here. So today, Quick Creator is gonna teach you how to use the app and how to create a blog page. Let's get into it. The first screen you're gonna be greeted with is a choice between blog page and landing page. So we're gonna choose the blog page and then click on new blog post. Now from here, there are a wide variety of choices you can use from keywords, which allows you to create articles from specific keywords. We're gonna be creating one from keywords. Click on this. And there are two options right here. You can choose to create with Blog Wizard or with One Step Generation. Blog Wizard allows you to customize it more in depth and to be able to change the content how you see fit. While One Step Generation is a bit faster, but it is also the easiest way to do it. So let's head on over to Blog Wizard. For example, your website is going to be about cars, so that's what the keywords are going to be for this one. Click on Generate Blog Details after the content and you can even choose the word count. Once you're satisfied, click Generate Title and Description. So as you can see here, the TDK which shows you how it would look like on Google search engines as well as other search engines that are available. Click on Generate Outline or even go back if you're not satisfied. But if you are, click on Generate Outline. You can drag around the outline to see which one would be first. And you can also add more by using the plus sign and you can delete it using the minus sign. Click on Generate Talking Points if you're finished. So your article has already been generated and you can adjust the image size by dragging the side right here. You can just drag it in like that or out to make it bigger. If you're not satisfied with the title, then keep in mind that you can always change it. Just like that. So as you can read here, there's an introduction, uh, the part of the article which was created by Blog Wizard. Now you're free to adjust it however you like and there's the conclusion right here. If you feel like this is too wordy or it's too long, you can always delete a couple of paragraphs like this to make it better. There are a couple of features that Quick Creator has introduced which is the block settings. Now if you scroll up top, the article still feels a bit empty, right? It's because there's no header. So we're gonna add a header like this, click on that. Now the brand is not Quick Creator where the site will be published. So we click on this, edit it. We're gonna be adding a footer. You can add here on add block or you can also click on blocks right here and click on the plus sign. If you want to see how it would look like, we have a preview option right here. Just click on preview and it's gonna show you how well made your article is in your own perspective. So you can check how it looks like for mobile phone users as well by clicking this, wait for it to load, and just like that. If you're satisfied with it, then we're just gonna click on publish. And now that your content has been published successfully, you can either copy the link or just visit the site directly. That would be all and remember, with Quick Creator, you can use the best keywords in order to build SEO optimized blogs and you can effortlessly generate metadata in an instant. What are you guys waiting for? Use Quick Creator right now to make the most out of your ideas and your businesses.